lots of clients have been coming into us uh, for our sustainability coverage, uh, wanting to know which stocks have the most alpha to a Democrat versus Republican win. Um, and there's been a lot of chatter coming through our traders uh, of the same theme. So if you look at the betting averages today, um, it looks like uh, we've had 50-50 uh, average met on, on an average of the, the betting sites. And uh, the hedge funds are just assuming that it's, it's going to flip in the favor of a Republican administration. And, and that's causing selling in the sector, uh, people taking off the trade, no longer expecting like a, a Green New Deal or massive uh, subsidies and investment for sustainability related uh, projects and companies. But that assumes that under a Republican administration, it wouldn't be good for Tesla when Tesla's had this monumental rise during the Trump years. So is that correct? I, I agree with you there, but uh, people trade these things for catalysts. You know, personally, I look at this and I say small bridges. Um, the Republican voters out there tend to be the hunters and the fishermen of the, of the country, and they tend to love the environment just as much as anyone living in uh, a Democrat stronghold wants uh, clean air and, and, and clean energy for their, uh, for their own energy use. So small bridges, you know, I think uh, this is... This is a little too political for my liking, but I'm going to let him finish and then I'll give you my uh, comments. This is a sector that can be embraced by people on all sides of the spectrum, but it doesn't impact the, uh, the behavior of short term traders. Um, Craig, neutral rating, but a 150 price target. There's, uh, there's a, a bit of a gap there. Yeah, so um, Tesla is being valued uh, today, I believe, more as an autonomous company than a car company, right? They're, they're going to have a hard time, they said, making um, 500,000 units this year. But their valuation is comparable to um, the rest of the automotive industry combined. So, you know, my message to clients is, you know, we love what they're doing. There's is this guy serious? He's predicting that Tesla is going to hit 150? If you look at my last video, I'm trying to buy Tesla at 407. <laughs> Anyways, I'll let them continue. Definite levers they can pull for accelerating growth. Um, and uh, they're going to execute well, but uh, we think they're much better investment opportunities across the sector. You do raise a question, which is what, what's driven the gains in terms of who's been buying Tesla? How much of it do you think is this retail phenomenon versus what you're seeing on the institutional side from hedge funds? So retail is a very large part of the uh, velocity trade in, in Tesla. That's, that's really what's, you know, caused, you know, very large moves since, uh, since earnings. Um, there are All right, I'm going to cut off this clown because he basically said there's um, better opportunities in Tesla. So that's why I actually wanted to make this video because it is at a very high price. Um, so I'm going to be showing, I'm going to let this clip go up, but I'm going to show you what, and I was hoping this guy would show it, but I'm going to show you what I think you should buy into because Tesla is high. If it goes below $400, I'm going to be buying as much as I can. So I think you should as also consider buying if Tesla goes under $400. Um, but let's go ahead and play this out. There are a number of uh, hedge fund trading desks that are piling in and obviously fund managers that, that can't buy the stock in their in their funds. Many of them have bought, they bought it in their personal uh, accounts because people love the cars. If you drive the cars, they're great cars. Um, so it is it is very much a retail trade. But there are some some fundamental investors, particularly people looking at, um, you know, seven um, seven thousand dollars for full self driving in the Model Three. You know, they buy Elon's dream of maybe that being a hundred thousand one day. You know, robo taxis and things like this. And um, you know, that is the crowd of investors that we see more active in Tesla as far as institutional investors accumulating shares. Okay, man, I'm a little uh, upset because. Uh... <laughs> He didn't, he didn't even tell where the better opportunities are. So I don't understand these CNBC guys. They, they're terrible. Anyway, so I'm going to give you my opinion. Um, I already have another video, too, where I already recommended another stock, LIT. So if you want to look through my channel and uh, look at I mean, they're going to be posted basically one day from each other. So you should be able to find the other video. But uh, here is an ETF I liked. I mentioned this in my other video because Tesla is still pretty pricey. Now, if it goes under 407, uh, I would love to buy it. And uh, I guess I'm going to go ahead and flex a little bit, guys. Um, 
I showed this in my previous video, but yeah, here you can look at my buys. I bought, I should have bought more, man. I bought four Teslas in my a Roth IRA for 226 bucks. That's before the split. Um, so I'm obviously up, what is it? My, uh, well, it's $7,000 right now. And I paid like, what is that? Like 800 bucks. And uh, I bought one in my, <laughs> in my other uh, account in my normal account. So Tesla has been really good for me and I want to add more Tesla. I, I wish I was like some of the other YouTubers. If you follow meet Kevin or Jeremy, the, the stock guy, uh, they put in like hundreds of thousands of dollars. So they're probably all now like multimillionaires and, uh, yeah, they're way cooler than me and have, you know, a lot more followers, but, um, I'm going to recommend another ETF and then just really quick. Uh, if you didn't see my previous video, this was the, uh, the other video I like lit and you get 6% of Tesla. But the one I really like, and you should definitely consider watching her YouTube videos, uh, there's a lady by the name of Kathy Wood. Uh, she runs this ARK, A-R-K-K -K Innovation ETF. And boom, look at the 9% uh, is Tesla. The next bi biggest holding is Square, which is, I think, another great one. And this is really hilarious, but uh, a lot of my st stock picks. So, I mean, I like ETFs. I'm about 50, 60% stocks and maybe like 20, 30% ETFs and then, you know, gold and bonds and stuff like that. Um, but I, I picked out a lot of the stocks here. So um, let's see. So, like, I do like Zillow, but I think Redfin is a better holding uh, CRISPR, I definitely believe in the biotechnology. Roku, that's another stock I bought. Lending Tree hasn't been that good, but uh, you just go through this list and it's it's great. Slack Technology is another great holding. I mean, if you're trying to think of stocks to buy individually, you don't want to pay the ETF fee. Just go through this list because you know Kathy Wood, I guess, is the name of her manager. I mean, she's a really smart person, and, and guess what? Instead of paying her the management fee, you can just buy these individual stocks. Um, but yeah, I mean, just like, look at it, Taiwan seven. So some of these are, you can't get it like Taiwan semiconductor, I believe that's like a international stock. So that's another reason why you want the ETF. Spotify is another one of my holdings. I've done really well. Snapchat, um, you know, I individually own that. Let me see. DocuSign, I own that. Um, so yeah, so, uh, yeah, check, check out this ETF. I really, really like it. And um, when it comes to Tesla, I do think it's a little pricey. So if you can wait and try to buy the dip, uh, I, I, I feel like you should own Tesla. It's just a no brainer to have in your portfolio. But um, let's look at the price. So yeah, it's only 96 bucks to buy the, uh, the ARK ETF. And if you wanted to buy LIT, L-I-T, um, it's $40. So these are much more affordable. And then you can get a Robin Hood or a Weeble to, uh, to buy that. And it's pretty easy. And uh, I have uh, links for, we. I don't know if I have a, a Weeble. I think I only have Robin Hood. Um, I got to update that and add the Weeble link. I don't know if I have it in my channel, but um, yeah. So just definitely consider adding stocks to your portfolio, especially if you're only in crypto, get diversified. Don't just only own cryptocurrency, but uh, let me know your thoughts. And obviously the channel is a little different now. I'm not like hundred percent cryptocurrency news, but it's, it's hard to find content on YouTube on crypto stuff too. And uh, yeah, it's just a lot more news right now in the stock market, but yeah, let me know your thoughts. I'm going to try to be active with the comments. Oh yeah. All the YouTubers say subscribe. So uh, I guess I got to tell you guys to si subscribe and like, but that's not my style. So uh, I don't know if I want to do that every video, but yeah, just let me know your thoughts and I will talk to you guys again soon.